Add a handful of sand in water and stir it. It may look homogeneous for a few moments, but the sand gradually sinks to the bottom of the glass. Is this a solution, a suspension, or colloid? If you are not sure, watch this video. Also, don't forget to take the mini quiz at the end of the video. A solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more components. The dissolving agent is called a solvent, and the substance that is dissolved is called the solute. A solute can be atoms, ions, or molecules with a diameter of 10 to the minus 9 meters or less. For example, when salt dissolves in water, a homogeneous mixture or solution forms. A suspension is a heterogeneous mixture in which the solid particles are spread throughout the liquid without dissolving in it. It is called a heterogeneous mixture because the different components in the mixture are distributed non-uniformly unless they are actively mixed. The particles have a diameter greater than 10 to the minus 6 meters and the particles are visible to the naked eyes. For example, if we take a glass full of water and mix mud in it, it will form a heterogeneous mixture. We can easily identify the components of the mixture. After some time, we can see that the particles of mud settle down due to gravity. These particles can be separated from the suspension by filtering. Components of a suspension can be evenly distributed by mechanical means, like by shaking the contents, but the components will eventually settle out. For example, some medications that are delivered as suspensions and must be mixed very well before measuring the dose in order to make sure that the patient is receiving the correct amount of medication. A colloid is a mixture with particles ranging in size from 10 to the minus 8 to 10 to the minus 6 meters. They are sitting between the particles found in solutions and suspensions. Particles remain evenly distributed without settling down. Liquids, solids, or gases may be mixed to form colloids, and they are called aerosols, sold, emulsions, or gels. If you'd like to know more about colloids, please watch my previous video. I'll post a link below. So, how can we distinguish suspensions from solutions? Unlike solutions, the components of suspensions will eventually be separated. How about colloid from solutions? Well, colloids are often confused with homogeneous solutions because the individual particles of a colloid cannot be seen. Also, the dispersed particles of a colloid cannot be separated by filtration. However, colloids can be distinguished from solutions using the Tyndall effect. A beam of light passing through a solution, such as air, is not visible. That's because the air particles are too small to deflect the light. However, light passing through a colloid such as smoke or fog will be reflected by the larger particles and the light beam will be visible. All right, are you ready to take a mini quiz? Question number one, alcohol in water. Solution. Question number two. Flour in water. Suspension. Question number three. Oil in water. Suspension. Question number four. Milk of magnesia. Suspension. Question number five. Milk. Colloid. Finally, sand particles in water. Yes, it is a suspension. Well, that's it for today. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.